Hello, SLOConf. My name is Jürgen, and I want to talk about how to evaluate application resilience with chaos engineering and SLOs. So let's first have a look at a typical CD process that helps you delivering your applications from your dev environments to over pre-production uh, stages all the way to production. And you might already be using some kind of SLOs evaluation for the quality gates before you move into production, but you can never really make sure that everything works in production. There are never any issues in production. So we all know there might be some issues in production. And the idea of this presentation is actually to simulate these issues that are happening in production in stages earlier, prior to production, simulate them and evaluate them based on SLOs. And with this, you can then improve the resilience of your applications before you move into production and keep production in a more safe place. Um, so the idea is to shift left by introducing chaos and evaluate the impact of the chaos with SLOs. So let's have a look at why we actually need chaos engineering. And uh, the basic idea is you cannot, you can improve your applications and you can do a lot of testing on your applications uh, themselves, but your applications are most often depending on some other third party services, maybe on uh, databases, even on some other, let's say Kubernetes um, services, or of course DNS and infrastructure. So there's a lot of different components that might fail. And although for this presentation, we're focusing more on the application part, there are a lot of different things that can fail and you should evaluate this failing on the impact of your applications. And you can do this with SLOs. So how you can do this? First, you identify some steady state conditions and you can also do this based on SLOs. Then you introduce some kind of fault and evaluate uh, if your SLOs are still met. If they are still met, then you can consider your application as resilient. If they are not met anymore, then you have found a weakness in your application stack or in the um, maybe in the code or in the infrastructure, and you can work on improving it. So I'm a maintainer from the Captain project, and we have implemented this idea in in the Captain project using a, different, uh, using a couple of different tools. So first, we introduced a dedicated chaos stage uh, in this um, demo uh, implementation. And uh, in the chaos stage, we deploy our applications using Helm, or you can use RBCD or whatever you want to use. We are de uh, deploying this into a dedicated chaos stage. And after the deployment is finished, we hit the application with some um, simulated real world load. We are using our locus performance tests here and we execute some chaos. We are using Litmus chaos here, but you can just exchange these tools with, uh, let's say, artillery tests or uh, Gremlin or whatever you're using. Um, the idea is to execute both performance tests plus chaos uh, at the same time uh, on our applications. Once the tests are finished, we need to evaluate now based on some data, let's say from Prometheus or Dynatrace, it can be any data provider. We are reaching out to the data provider, querying the data, uh, based on the SLOs we want to evaluate and then make a decision. Are our SLOs still met? Then we can consider this as uh, a resilient application based on the resilience criteria, of course, that we have defined in our SLOs. Uh, or if they are not met, we have identified the weakness and we can go back and uh, improve our application. So I have here a very, very simple SLO file. And uh, to be honest, it's just from the demo. So for a real world usage, you might want to tweak uh, actually the numbers a little bit. Uh, maybe it should be a little uh, higher to, to actually uh, enforce more uh, reliability of your applications. But in our demo applications, we are just uh, checking for uh, the availability of the service uh, based on two different uh, SLOs. And uh, we are checking for the success percentage of our probes. That basically means if our application is available and uh, also how fast the probes can uh, respond. If they cannot respond uh, fast enough, uh, we sh should also consider this as, as an issue. And we can also use the same SLO definition also for our application running in production. If we just want to make sure the application is available, we could just reuse them. That's one uh, of the cool parts here. And if you also want to add more SLOs to this file, um, it's not a problem. We can just add more. And then uh, the decision that the captain is making 
is actually based on a total score. So we can uh, enforce all of the SLOs to be met, or we can just enforce, let's say, 90% of all of our SLOs are met, or some specific SLOs may be marked as uh, key SLOs, or in this case, uh, SLO is based on a service level indicator, but we can just mark uh, one or two as uh, key, uh, that they are key for our evaluation and they need to be met. Otherwise, uh, Captain will consider this uh, the, the complete evaluation as failing. So the whole idea, we implemented this in Captain, and it's actually already used at a company uh, called Kitopi, and they are doing this in the following. So they are having first a phase where they are not introducing any chaos. They're just hitting their applications with some load uh, for a couple of times, and then they are evaluating their SLOs. And the SLOs need to be met on this stage. Obviously, there is no chaos introduced anyway, uh, and it's basically a check and a baseline for SLO evaluation. In the second phase, they are introducing light chaos. In the light chaos, they still expect all the SLOs to be met. And this is where we define uh, the level of resilience for the applications. So light chaos and no chaos, it has to, um, it, all the SLOs have to be met. And it's basically they, they expect uh, the same outcome when it comes to SLO evaluations. And to evaluate if their SLOs are not too relaxed, they have a third phase where they introduce heavy chaos. And here they actually expect their SLOs to fail because uh, their application is not made yet for uh, this kind of heavy chaos. And it's just to check for them that um, light chaos is kind of uh, can be survived by the application. And heavy chaos, uh, if these kind of conditions occur, uh, they will still um, figure it out with uh, alerting and the um, they know that um, which level of resilience is um, is fine for for the application and which not. So this was uh, already implemented at Kitopia. I've put here a link. If you want to learn more, uh, you can just uh, watch their presentation on their presentation uh, via this link. So if you think this is a great idea, um, you can even uh, give it a try yourself. Uh, there is a tutorial on tutorials.captain.sh where you can walk through the whole setup of um, Captain plus Locust tests uh, plus um, Litmus uh, chaos engineering uh, experiments. And uh, if you don't want to do it yourself, you can even watch uh, the video on this. So thanks for watching and have fun at SLOConf.